Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to learn about the digestive system and digestion. So that our body can make the most of the food we eat, it must first transform itself into a simple substance called nutrients. These nutrients are then transported by our blood around our body to be used and converted into energy. This food transformation process is called digestion and is done in the digestive system. The digestive system is a very long tube through which the food travels and is made up of the following parts. The mouth, this is where the digestive journey begins. The teeth both chop and grind up the food we eat. Once it has been made into a board, it is pushed down the food pipe to the pharynx. The pharynx is a cavity which shares the digestive system with the respiratory system. It is from the pharynx that the food goes to the esophagus. The esophagus is a soft muscular tube that moves food further down to the stomach. The stomach is a widening of the digestive tube. It creates a movement which allows food with a mixture of gastric fluids. Once this process has been done, it then travels to the small intestine. The small intestine is called small because of its width, not its length. It is actually a lot longer than the large intestine, measuring up to 7 meters in length, almost as wide as a football goal from post to post. Well, it is here in the small intestine where the food digestion journey ends. Now it is up to fluid processes by two glands, the liver and the pancreas, to finalize the transformation from foods to nutrients. Once the food is converted into nutrients, they then traverse the small intestine's walls and filter into our blood where they are then made good use of by all of our body cells. But what happens to the food that our body doesn't need? All that, such as fiber for example, is transferred into the large intestine. The large intestine is a thick tube which accumulates substances which our organism cannot digest and it is where water from these substances is absorbed. The substances then form fecal matter, or what we call poop, and it comes out of the anus. Ah, it sounds a little bit disgusting, but that's how our body works. Anyway friends, I hope you found the digestive system and digestion as interesting as I did. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. When we eat and breathe, our body transforms food and oxygen into energy, into nutrients that allow us to be active, allow us to do physical exercise such as running or swimming, and also allows us to do intellectual exercises such as studying or reading, which, although it may not seem like it, also needs energy. The process in which food and oxygen is transformed into energy is called nutrition and evolves the digestive system, the respiratory system, the circulatory system and the excretory system. The digestive system breaks down food into smaller parts transforms it into nutrients so that it can be used. The respiratory system takes oxygen from the air when we breathe. The circulatory system distributes these nutrients and oxygen throughout the body via the blood. And the excretory system expels these nutrients and oxygen from the body through sweat and urine. All the substances that we cannot use and that can be harmful. As you can see, nutrition and nutrients are extremely important as they provide us with the energy we need to live. There are five types of nutrients. 
fats, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and mineral salts. But we will get to know these five groups of nutrients in a new happy learning video. So now you know, we have to eat very, very well and do a lot of exercise. So you will always be healthy and strong. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. <laughs> Nutrients are classified into five groups. Fats, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and mineral salts. Let's get to know them. Fats provide a lot of energy. They are animal fats, such as butter, and vegetable fats, such as olive oil and sunflower oil. Foods such as bacon, buns, some sweets, or hamburgers contain a lot of fat. Although these foods are very good, they should be eaten in moderation. Because if we eat a lot of fats, they can be harmful. Carbohydrates also provide us with energy, but less than fat. Bread, potato, pasta, and some sweet foods such as sugar or honey provide us with a lot of carbohydrates. These foods can be eaten more than fats. They can even be eaten every day. Proteins come from foods such as meat, fish, and eggs. However, they are also vegetables and plants that contain protein, such as soya or nuts. Proteins help us to grow and repair the parts of our body that are worn out. So, you know, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you have to eat proteins. Vitamins are very important for us to live healthily and strong lives. They are found in many foods, but the ones that contain the most are vegetables, fruits, and dairy products. Vitamins are essential for our body, so eat at least five pieces of fruit and vegetables every day. Mineral salts are also very important for us to be healthy and strong. Like vitamins, they're found in many foods. But the ones with the most are vegetables, fruits, and dairy products. One of the most important mineral salts is calcium, which forms in our bones, for example, and is mainly found in milk and in all dairy products. Well, now we know more about nutrition and nutrients. But we cannot say goodbye without giving you some advice. To always stay healthy, you have to eat a balanced diet. You have to eat a little bit of everything. Above all, fish, dairy products, fruits and vegetables. And you have to do with with a lot of physical exercise, mental exercise. If we do all that, we will have a lot of energy and we will always be healthy and happy. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video.
Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.